There are several ways to bring photos into iBooks Author. The first is dragging them in. You can drag them from the Finder, which I'll demonstrate right here, or from other programs, including web pages. So dragging is pretty straightforward. It doesn't need much more explanation than that. You can bring them in from the Media Browser, which you get to with View, Show Media Browser, down here. And that brings them in from iPhoto only. So that's only if you're an iPhoto user. You can also bring them in with Insert Choose, which allows you to insert all types of media. And we'll grab that same picture and click Insert. And that's how you bring photos into iBooks Author. Um, iBooks Author only supports a few formats. It supports a couple different flavors of JPEG. It supports PNGs, PNG files, and it supports GIFs, GIF files. Uh, the preferred format, according to Apple, is JPEG. There's a few things you can do to photos once you have them in. You can mask, you can apply alpha, and there's a few other manipulations. Mask basically hides part of the photo, so it's just like cropping, but it's reversible. And I will show you how to apply mask. You go to Format, Image, Mask. And then you draw a box around what part of the image you want to show. So let's say we, let's say we just want the cover of the book and we don't want the picture of the iPad itself. Okay, done. And the rest of the photo is still there. Uh, I can get back at it if I want to. Just click Edit Mask. Easy. Okay. So that's one thing you can do, and we'll just uh, change it back to, you know, full, full mode here, full frame. And another thing that's possible is to change the alpha, and alpha is transparency. So you go to Format, Image, Instant Alpha. Click the area you want to make transparent, then drag. As you drag, the selection grows to include areas that use similar colors. So let's say we only want to make the wood transparent. We will attempt. There we go. Perfect. Oops. Oh no. Lost the lost the uh Command, right? Where'd we go? Instant alpha. I still want to make that part transparent. Well, there's a few little bits and pieces. I won't bore you going into uh, selecting all of them, but that's basically the idea. That's how you apply an alpha. So now we've made that part of the image transparent. And it's sort of superfluous with uh, with this this image since we could have just cropped it or used the mask, but there's obviously a lot of times when that would be quite useful. So, and then finally, there are a few other um, manipulations that are possible. I'm actually just gonna delete this image and add it again. So I can start with a clean slate. So there we go, added it again, back in iBooks Author. Clean slate, so you can do some of the same things you can do with other objects, you can resize, you can actually, uh, you can move it, you can resize it, you can do things like that. You can do the other things that I just showed you. And there are a few other image adjustments you can do. And those are under View, Show Adjust Image. And this is some of the stuff that you might be familiar with from an image editor like Photoshop. So just the usual brightness, you got your contrast, saturation, Temperature, tint, sharpness, exposure. Got your histogram, you can enhance, you can reset the image back to normal, and so on. So those are the things that you can do to images inside of iBooks Author.